Well, I'm excited to get to try something for the first time that uh, you can't even look it up right now. I, I tried to look it up online to see if I could get any information about it. But aside from the email that they sent me explaining this, I really don't have much else to, to know about what's in here other than this has been specially designed by a company that normally makes air fryers and other heating and cooling products that this is specially designed to cook meat. So let's see what we got here. This is the first time I'm going to use the Dreo Chef Maker, which is a new device that Dreo put out that's specifically designed to cook meat, as opposed to the air fryer, which was designed to fry things with less fat. This is actually designed to cook meat and maintain moisture better. Better than the air fryer, which is pretty remarkable because the air fryer beats the heck out of a charcoal grill or a barbecue pit when it comes to retaining moisture. So something worth looking at. Now what I'm doing right now is it's the first time I've used it. So it, the instructions say that you want to run it through a heat cycle after you've washed it. I've already hand washed all the parts on the inside here. It's already preset to 380 and 15 so I can just hit start here. I'm going to let it go ahead and go through that cycle. After heating is done, let the air fryer cool, then wash the basket and cooking tray with soapy water and non-abrasive sponge. You know, that non-abrasive sponge is real important on these non-stick coatings. Now, my current air fryer uses a non-stick coating as well. I know that there's a lot of reports out there that talk about non-stick coatings being bad for you and then they supposedly change the chemical formula to fix that problem. And apparently the EPA has done some studies that show that maybe the new chemical is not much better than the old chemical, but the FDA hasn't made any changes as re with regard to what they're gonna do with that. And to be honest with you, when it comes to these government agencies telling me anything, I have very little faith in what they're gonna tell me about anyway. I will say that if I had my druthers, I would go with stainless steel, but I've been using nonstick coating in an air fryer now for close to two years and my blood work keeps showing positive results. I haven't had any negative health side effects. So until further notice, I'm gonna to continue to use what's on the market. I'm not gonna worry about it too much. But meanwhile, let's see how this little guy does with making a steak. I pulled a steak out yesterday from the freezer so I could let it defrost. That way I can cook a steak the normal way. I know you're used to me cooking my steaks in the air fryer from frozen, but I'm gonna to try to follow the instructions on this one and see what kind of steak we can get. All right, so I finished the initial heating mode and washed it with soap and water. So we'll be ready to give it a try here. I like how this basket has a lot of airflow underneath it. Comes with your standard air fryer tray as well, but um, from what I can tell, you're only gonna need to use the basket. It appears based on the instructions that I wanna use chef mode when cooking a steak and that I want to be sure to use the water tank and the meat probe to get the full benefit of this unit. And I'm assuming it's going to tell me exactly what to do because the instructions don't talk about when to add water or when to add the temperature probe. And since I'm completely unfamiliar with this device, I'm hoping it's step-by-step -step instructions will be included. All right, let's put it back together. And let's get started cooking. So yes, the instructions say to use the, the grilling rack whenever grilling or doing chef's mode, which is what I'm gonna be doing for cooking this steak. It has an everyday cooking mode that uses the air fryer feature. So I guess you can just use it like your plain air fryer as well. But I'm gonna try the feature that makes this unit special. All right, so the instructions say to find the cooking probe connection at the front of your rack. Looks pretty simple. All right, I heard it click, so it's in place. All right, let's see here. We'll go to chef mode and press start. Beef is already selected, so I'll press start. Now it's asking for what type of beef, and this is going to be a ribeye. There it is, ribeye. 10 minutes to two hours. Probe and water required. Use the grilling rack. We'll go with medium rare. Classic flavor, sous vide flavor. So it's got a classic flavor setting that takes 10 to 30 minutes and a sous vide flavor 
that takes 45 to 75 minutes. Well, that's going to make for some interesting stuff because I'm not a real big fan of sous vide. One, I don't like cooking in plastic. And two, it was a heck of a rigmarole for me to do sous vide, I felt like. I mean, it was a lot easier just to throw something in the air fryer. So this has a sous vide setting. I may give that a try. But for now, I'm just going to go with the classic flavor. And we'll give the sous vide a try on a future video. All right, so hitting start wasn't a good idea to do yet. We'll go ahead and stop that for a moment. I'm going to insert the meat probe. It does say you do want to have steaks that are at least an inch thick for this. And before I close that tray back again, I'm going to go ahead and add water to the water tank up here. All right, let's close this up and see what's going to happen now. All right, so it says browning now, estimated time left, 25 minutes. We'll see. Oh, and I didn't even realize this has a little light feature. So you can look inside the oven while it's cooking and see what's going on. Now it says estimated time left one minute. Boy, it finished that last minute really quick. Finished. Beware of high temperatures when handling cook probe. All right, I will. Wow, look how it comes out. That looks pretty good. First thing I want to do is pull this cook probe out. There we go. Go ahead and pull the steak out of here. I'm going to keep my, my fat. There we go. So in my first try on this steak, not even cooking from frozen, I like how it's got the exterior very crispy looking. Let's let it rest for a little bit and see how it tastes when we cut into it. Cleanup was extremely easy because it didn't get real crusty on the inside or anything like that. And I love how it's very specific about what you can put in the dishwasher. I don't currently use a dishwasher, but when we get our house built, we do plan to have one. So it's nice to know. <laughs> it says don't put the whole thing in the dishwasher. It does say you can put the entire container, the grilling rack, and the standard cooking tray in the dishwasher. It does say to not put the cooking probe in the dishwasher. Obviously, don't put the control panel in the dishwasher, and you can put the water tank in the dishwasher. So very convenient to know that you can wash these things in the dishwasher and not have a problem. And there's a lot of water left in the tank after all is said and done, which is interesting. Doesn't look like I used any. Hopefully we did it right. I do know it says that you're supposed to keep the water tank filled when you were about to use it. Always drain the water tank after cooking. Okay, so you gotta you actually have a spot on here for settings. Let's go down to settings. Maintenance, water pipe drain, make sure the basket is inserted, confirm. It is draining, it's just draining very slowly. So that leads me to believe that it didn't use very much water in the cooking process. Draining, do not pull the basket out during the draining process. It's almost done. It shows two minute timer counting down. Draining complete. Pour the wastewater out of the basket. That was easy enough. All right, well, we've been resting long enough. Let's cut into this steak. All right, let's see how we did. Wow, that looks beautiful. Oh man, that's impressive looking. Now let's see if it's as good as it looks. Mmm. 
That is an excellent medium rare. It's got a nice crispiness on the outside. It's not as crispy as when I cooked from frozen, but boy, is this thing juicy. Mm. Let's see how that big piece of fat on the tip came out. Got a little bit of meat there. See how crispy the outside is? Mmm. Mmm. You know, this thing was a lot more convenient than I thought it would be. And the steak came out perfect. Mmm. Every bite is wonderful. The one thing I can say about this is it seems like a lot easier to not overcook your steak the way I often do when I cook from frozen when I'm not using a temperature probe. This thing takes all the guesswork out of everything though. You just stick the meat probe in, stick it in and set it to cook and let it do its thing. You don't even have to flip it midway through, which I love because it keeps it raised up off the bottom and it's got a lot more airflow than your standard air fryer does. You know, initially I didn't think I was going to be a huge believer in this device, but right now, my first impression is this is a fantastic device, and it made a fantastic steak. And I'll be honest with you, when Dreo contacted me about trying this product, I didn't know anything about them, and I don't really even know what they want me to do when it comes to sharing this information with you. If they did create a discount code for me, I'll put that in the description, and I'll include a link for this device if you want to try it out. But so far, this one gets two thumbs up from me. I would use both hands, but I want to eat some more steak. <laughs> right out of the gate, this Dreo Chef Maker is a winner. This may be good enough to bring me back from cooking from frozen all the time. Mmm. So good. I think I'm going to keep using this for a little while. I really give it a good break in and see how it does. I also want to see how well this non-stick coating uh, performs under repeated uses. So, we'll give it a good breaking in, and then you'll be able to see what you think of the Dreo before you go spend your money, too. Oh, and as far as I know, this is not currently available to order yet. So, this is the very first video that I've made on it, and it may be the first video out about it. So, keep your eyes open for the Dreo Chef Maker. Man, does it make a good steak. Well, that's all I got for this one, guys. I'll see you guys next time. Mmm. Mmm, mmm, mmm.